So, art matters. Um, art has the ability to transform the cancer experience and humanize healthcare settings. So I'm the artist in residence at the Roger Maris Cancer Center. And for this past year, I've been making and teaching art with patients while they get treatments for cancer. What I've witnessed are three things. Art heals, it allows patients to be present during difficult times, and it fosters empathy through connection. So art has actually tons of benefits. It has physical and emotional benefits because it's healing. Multiple studies have been done that prove this. I'm gonna talk briefly about none of those because anyway, I prefer anecdotes, but <laughs> <laughs> the effects on the brain are stimulating. They're, they're powerful and you can have similar effects as you would to exercise. So it can increase learning, can increase uh, neurogenesis, uh, growth factors, and neurotransmitters. Making art also leads to more confidence, positive self-esteem, interpersonal communication, and better self-understanding. And it's fun. So art also allows patients to be present during difficult, hard times. And often I'll go into a room and patients suffer from psychosocial effects such as loneliness, anxiety, boredom. And I'll sit down and I'll approach them with positive distraction, art making. And throughout the art making, this is one of our domino projects, they'll have this kind of tone of surprise and then be like, this is fun? I can't believe how much fun I'm having. I even had this one patient tell her family visitors while art making, chemo's so fun, you should try this. <laughs> I also started doing other projects, such as these uh, framed photo series. So people could be leprechauns, or the Easter Bunny, or even Uncle Sam. And even if patients said no, they were still left laughing. And I thought humor was one of the best things we could bring into this environment. I also started bringing in staff and patients, so that's a doctor back there making that face. And those are two nurses. Um, and it increased morale across the unit. And better morale leads to better care. So art also fosters empathy through connection. What I noticed is that not every patient wants to directly make art. So I still wanted to be able to provide an artful experience. I approached the Southside Fargo Public Schools and asked their teachers, can your kids make cards for patients? I don't want traditional get well cards. I want cards that talk about their joy, what makes them happy. And so what I quickly learned is that cats and hearts and stars is key to every second grader's happiness. <laughs> and most of the patients agree. So I handed these out to patients, and this particular patient was very resistant at first, but I wore him down. He was a former veteran, and he told me that the only time he'd ever received decorations in his life was because somebody died. This was the first gift he ever received that was an affirmation of life. He put it on his dresser and he looked at it every day and told me it gave him the will to live. And he was so touched by it, he called the school where the student was to personally thank her. We went to the school and I watched her come up and give him this big hug and he thanked her. And she said, I hope you get better. And what I realized in that moment is I was like, what if every cancer experience could be about this? What if every hospital could foster moments like this? Where no matter what happens, there's still this. And this is why we need arts, we need artists, we need creatives in hospitals. Because art reconnects us to our humanity, to our story, to our sense of meaning. And art walks with us through all the dark and complicated times into light, where no matter what, hope lives. <laughs>